L is a really interesting sound in English. If these are the teeth, and this is the top of the mouth, and this is the tongue, we make it up here above the teeth, right? But it's, the tongue doesn't completely block the sound. That would make it N. The air escapes over both sides of the tongue, and that makes it a lateral sound. So you can test that by breathing in, and you'll feel two separate areas of, of colder air on the roof of your mouth. So, as I mentioned, we articulate L in the same place that we articulate N. So, in a word like original, there's a way of moving from N to L without taking the tongue off the mouth completely. So, you just drop down the sides of the tongue. So, it's not null, null, it's just null, null. My thumb and finger are uh, the sides of my tongue. Mm, that's completely blocked, and then you just drop the sides. No. And that's kind of like an exercise that my wife has for practicing piano. If this is one, two, three, four, five, you try to hold down one, three, five. And then you hold down two and four. And then it's really hard. Can you see how hard it is to coordinate? But you can do something very similar with your tongue by dropping down the sides. Now, it might take some practice to be able to do that, especially if your language doesn't have that kind of movement. Let's practice some words that have that combination. External, original, diagonal, 